All right, so here is our carpet scrubber, cleaner, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is good for cleaning up any kind of spills or large spills on our carpet. Um, sucks up water pretty well, but uh, also helps with cleaning up vomit um, on the carpet instead of vacuuming it up. Um, you can just use the um, carpet, carpet scrubber. So, um, yeah. So, a couple things about the carpet scrubber on the front here. You'll see that there is a uh, vacuum. This is kind of like your, uh, this is what controls all the suction. And there's a little hole slot underneath um, that sucks up everything. And I'll show you how to use it at the top. <clears throat> Behind that is going to be your brush right here inside this housing. Um, you will be able to turn that on and turn that off as you need to. Um, when you're scrubbing, you want to pull it towards you. You want to pull the whole unit back towards you so it will um, scrub and pick up water as you go. It'll be really hard to push it because the front end here will dive right into the, um, the carpet and won't do anything. It won't pick up all your debris that you get up off the floor um, where you're scrubbing. In here is going to be your clean water. Um, so you can put clean water in there. Um, just be careful when you're transporting it around. If it is full, um, it could overflow or it could splash around. So just be really careful. That's on the front of the machine. Um, when you stand up, <coughs> this whole unit kind of pops off. And that'll be a little bit better and easier to fill if you need to. Um, this canister that I just pulled off, that's going to be your dirty water. So that's where your dirty water goes. The cover uh, for that needs to be secure in order for the vacuum to work. So what you want to do, just make sure that's on there nice and tight, sealed, and then plug your vacuum hose in there. So this gray vacuum hose goes down underneath the machine to the front of the vacuum and it picks up everything and it kind of throws it into the dirty water tank. Very similar to the auto scrubber. Um, it does have a port to release that dirty water right here, um, right next to the vacuum. Um, just make sure you're near a drop sink to empty this machine. Um, it does require power from the wall, so make sure you have an extension cord um, that you can use and uh, plug it into the wall. On the front here, there is a um, little description. So. If I am using an attachment, um, I can switch it over to an attachment. We have two different attachments. Um, they're actually over here. Um, this is for smaller spills um, in certain areas. Um, it's just a little bit smaller of a vacuum space compared to the big, the big vacuum. And we also have a long wand, a bigger, a little bit bigger of a wand that kind of goes up, has a handle on it, it connects. Um, to the machine itself as well. That's pretty easy to attach um, to get water to it. Um, it is compressed water. So on one end, you'll have a quick connect switch. Um, and there's a quick connect on the side here. You just push this back, connect it in, and it locks in place just like that. To release it, just pop it off, push it back, pop it off, and you're good to go with, with that. Um, so that's for using an attachment. <clears throat> when you're just using the brush, switch it over to the brush on the actual diagram here. So it was switched there. Switch it back over. And on the bottom of the handle, right underneath there, there's a little switch. If you hold that switch in and you pull it towards you, it'll scrub and pick up um, what you're scrubbing off the floor. So pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, again, just keep an eye on the amount of foam they are collecting in this. Um, with the mix of chemical and the brush, it'll create foam suds. Um, so just make sure you're checking your dirty water tank and emptying that as needed. Um, the clean water tank is pretty small, it's only four gallons. so. Um, once the dirty water tank gets filled, um, make sure that you empty that because it will be heavy. Just be careful. Um, oh, to hook up, I'm sorry, to hook up the 
accessories. It's going to be very similar to what you would do um, with making sure the vacuum is hooked up, but this is the vacuum right here. Since you're not using the actual machine to pick up anything and you're using the accessory, you just want to make sure that it goes into the correct slot here. So once you are sucking up from the wand, is going directly into the dirty water tank. So hope that makes sense. Sorry, I forgot to cover that, but I think that's pretty much it for this machine. Um, if there is a blown fuse right here, this uh, five amp fuse will be popped out. That means that something is wrong electrically um, and you'll need to get it fixed or let someone know. And that's the carpet scrubber.